Hey guys, Flip Leak here today, and welcome back to Prison Architect. Today we're going to be building prison number three. Well, we're actually going to be planning it, not building it. This is obviously prison number two, which you can download. Um, I, if I remember, I'll put the download link in this video. If not, it's in the last Prison Architect video. Uh, anyway, so we finished off our prison last uh, episode. Uh, we finished up our high security. Of course, we haven't done those workshops yet. And also, this is <laughs> this is really bad at the moment. All these doors here are locked open. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I've finished the prison, but just for the sake of um, people's sanity that are watching this video, I'm going to close all those doors because none of those actually need to be open. I mean, it, what it did is it provided a clear path for a high-risk prisoners to sort of just walk out of the prison, um, which wasn't ideal. Uh, they, they don't really walk in this corridor here, so anyways, so it was alright. Anyways, so that's our prison. We're going to sell this prison so we have a ton of money for our next one. So let's go now, valuation. We have $1,100,000. So if we go sell, uh, we got our new, uh, create a new prison. We're actually going to go medium size on this one. And uh, I'm going to go, not continuous intake. I don't, uh, do I want lakes? We could try lakes, but if we get a bad map, there's nothing we can do about it. No, I don't want likes. They just get in the way and they're glitchy as well. So let's, let's screw that. Uh, forests. I don't really want forests though. Because I, I, I don't want to focus on cutting down trees in this prison either. Because that just created a whole host of nightmares. Including starving our prisoners for days on end. Um, so we're just going to go with that. Pretty basic. Click play. Uh, and we'll start off with $1,100,000. So there you go. Um... Which is awesome. So we're on a medium sized map, slightly bigger, and we've got to do a lot of planning. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab our planning tool, because that's what you do when you plan. There's no trees, that's beautiful. Don't have to cut anything down, that's in the way. How big is this map? I don't know. I can't, I can't see. I can't see the, um, the measurement. Uh, where is it? It is... 120. I had to like look closer at my screen to be able to see that. So we want to go down to 60, obviously, for our middle. Let's just go there, 60, that means these two parts there is our, the middle of our map. Um, now, I want to do a, a much grander entrance to this prison, because for one, I've never done like a, a large sort of grand entrance to a prison, and two, um, it'll look cool. And we've got money, so we've got plenty of money to take care of that. So, first things first, we're going to have a, a wider entrance to our prison, it's going to be four. Uh, four wide, because... Who needs two? We have we have a medium map, plenty of space. I said that now, but we'll probably fill it up. Uh, now, okay, so we're going to have a nice sort of secure area out the front. We're going to have road gates and all that kind of cool stuff. I was browsing through the uh, the Steam Workshop and I saw a few cool designs. Actually, no, I think it was on Reddit, but I do I did browse the Workshop as well. I think it was on Reddit. I saw a pretty cool design, um, which I'm going to sort of take inspiration from because I can't remember it exactly. But basically, what they did is they had like a double road gate like up here. And double road gate down there. Um, and then this whole area in here was secure. They had sort of little guard uh, security rooms and all that kind of stuff around it. Which is pretty cool. So that's kind of what we're going we're gonna to do. Um, so let's try and plan this out as best as we can. So we're going to have a road gate. So those are both 20 long, I believe. Um, is that enough? Yeah, that's probably enough room. So we're going to go road gate there. We'll have a gap of... How long is a truck, actually? That's a truck there. And of course it goes auto save 9... Uh, or 10 really we want if we wanted to have a gap of a truck in there um, But I don't think I really do want to have a gap of a truck. I just kind of yeah we, we don't really need that. We're just gonna go like that So we'll have those two those two will be road gates there So we need to do the same down this end before we forget try and make this the same Right then either side uh, We have kind of like little secure Room type things here. So large walls basically so those are gonna be like perimeter walls um, there. And then this will just come down here. So this will secure off the entire road area. So that was like that and that. These are kind of like, uh, just like, it's kind of like a security checkpoint kind of idea anyways, is what I'm going for. Uh, so that will be like that. So that's our kind of like secure entrance. I'm also going to push the actual entrance of the prison back to probably about here. Uh, we might even do kind of just large sort of rooms here. I don't know, kind of like these are just kind of like sort of security guard rooms or something when you come into the prison. So we'll have, uh, let me go into objects. These will actually be, uh, actually no, I'll move them there because otherwise it'll be annoying. Those will be large jail doors and we'll have them open so that one goes up and one goes down. So it's kind of like a large entrance where you come in. 
Um, so that'll be our main entrance there, and then we'll have... Uh, these will be perimeter walls, not like that. Like that, probably, and maybe... What, what, what we could do, because we... I, then again, I could be massively overspending, but we'll find out when we come to it. Um, what I want to do is um, have sort of walkways in our walls. So that will be a perimeter wall, and this one here will be a perimeter wall as well. And then we, we'll be able to have like sort of guard patrols going through the sort of walling area. Uh, which would be pretty cool, I think. Uh, and I've seen a lot of people do that before, and I've never had the money in the game to do it because I always start from scratch. But this is a little bit different. So, let's go with that. Let it save. So I think it's kind of cool because then you have like the sort of uh, security offices here. We'll probably do like CCTV in these. So maybe you have like a little... Oh, it's not a very good sized room for it though. It's kind of annoying. Because um, CCTV will take up about three by three. Uh, but anyways, so there'll be like a little security room like that. And then the guards can sort of walk out through the prison. And maybe we have uh, sort of doors here like jail doors there and there or something. We don't really need it on that side actually. That's no point. Um, so then they can sort of get to this area and they can walk through the walls to get to get around the prison essentially is my idea. Well, it's not my idea. It's a borrowed idea that I've adapted. Um, I shall not claim things that are not my own. Uh, so then this obviously all this area out the front here will be for deliveries, garbage and generally looking nice. Um, we could even do like, um, I've seen people do kind of like little car park things just for the sake of it because you can, uh, which is kind of interesting. So we could actually do like uh, pave it with road out this whole area here. It could be kind of cool. We could try that out, uh, but we'll leave that for now. So let's go have a look. Uh, so we have our main, this will be our main sort of prison entrance. Uh, and I think we'll use this as a prison divider as well. So maybe the top half will be medium security and the bottom half will be high security or something like that. So we'll divide up the prison uh, in that manner instead of using the road. Cause I don't think using the road is a particularly good way to split your prison. Um, and I wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of it last time around, so we'll use this, this sort of large, it's gonna be a large corridor, um, between the prison. We'll obviously have double doors there, so there'll be jail doors there, jail doors there, plenty of security, then we obviously have double road gates as well, uh, so it's gonna be pretty hard to get out. Uh, as for walls around the prison, we should probably do that. Uh, go like that. I, I don't need to use every inch of space in this prison like we did last time around because we're on a slightly larger map and I really don't think we need to use as much space. Uh, we don't need to be as protective of it. So we're just going to go around with the wall. Um, it's not necessarily going to be just a big square, but we'll figure that out as we go. I don't really have an idea, but it's all it's all just uh, you know, make it up as we go, really. That's, that's how it is. So I'll be there. Do that. Uh, we'll probably have more sort of perimeter walls within the prison as well. That is too, I'm making sure. Um, to sort of divide up different sections. Could be kind of interesting. Because I've seen a lot of people have like super secure prisons where you have perimeter walls everywhere. Which of course they haven't done legitimately. They've, they've probably used um, like just hacking in money from a save file. Which isn't hard to do. Anyway, so we have that sort of large perimeter wall going around. I kind of want to do like a little sort of guard tower on the edge of the walls there. But it, it does require me to, first of all... Delete that. And I've also built that wall in the wrong spot. Um, it's kind of annoying. I need to shift the whole thing up one square. Let's go there. And there. Like that. And then I kind of want, yeah, I want to do like a sort of little watchtower thing here. I don't know. That could be kind of cool. Um, probably won't have anything in it just for decoration purely. Uh, yeah. In that case, I want to move the wall back down again, to be honest. So that was a waste of my time moving it up. Uh, so it will go there. And move that down. And there. So it's kind of like a little watchtower on the perimeter of the prison. Uh, whether we put anything in it, I don't know. It's just for looks. Uh, this prison this prison I'm building is going to be like kind of a, a pretty prison, I'm going to call it. <laughs> it's going to be the, uh, the key word for it. It's just one to make it look nice because I, I haven't really sort of played around with it. It's obviously, of course, going to be fully functional as well. Um, just something different, really. Uh, so I did it. How did I do it? I did that, it was that size, wasn't it? I think so. So I'll come in there, and then we've got to move this wall as well. Uh, obviously, it's not necessary to have such a big wall around the prison, but it's fun. And because we can. I, w I actually do wonder how much this wall is going to cost us. Like, just the wall alone to build. Uh, <laughs> it's probably going to be bloody expensive. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll come to that. Um, whether we need that... I guess that'll be perimeter wall there. Anyway, so let's go ahead and just... Let's just bring this all the way down to the end of the prison. Like that. 
Uh, right. Now, this is that's as far as I've got in terms of sort of pre-envisaging the uh, the design. Actually, you want to put some uh, little sort of guard rooms on the, these little bits here too uh, to finish off the sort of walls. Gonna be. We could do like a supermax prison that only has uh, CCTV and doesn't have any guards where the prisoners are. That'd be fun. Um, but it's really, I don't think I'm ready to do something like that. So, uh, and then I think between all these sort of walls here, we do jail doors between all of this. So in case a prisoner does happen to get in there or something for whatever reason, it's got a, it's sort of like an extra step of security. And then we'll probably do doors that do go into the prison at certain points. Uh, we'll probably do doors at the end here. Actually, just a couple of doors there. Like that. Um, might actually do some doors around this section here too to sort of secure that. Just in case we have a breach in security. Uh, you never know. All hell might break loose, might get fires and deaths. Uh, but we'll find out later. Is that right? Have I done that right? Uh, I have, but it looks kind of weird that that goes up one extra. Um, I don't know. Ah, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. That's just how I've built it. Not changing now. I kind of need it. I, I kind of want to do a double wall over here. I don't need to, but I kind of want to just because everything else has a double wall. Ah, screw it. Uh, anyways, objects. We're going to have, obviously, oh, jail doors there and there. And probably just an entrance into these security offices there or something. Um, which will probably also be a jail door for extra security. Fantastic. Now, as for all of our staff-related stuff... Um, I uh, didn't really think about that, to be honest. I don't really want it inside of the prison. I guess we can just do it out the front here. I have a little, sort of little building at the front here. Um, we do a building, not like that, uh, like here. I don't really want it outside of the prison now, though, because I've, <laughs> I've sort of designed all that. Damn it. Because, uh, I mean, all the officers don't even need to be in the prison. They don't, they can just, we could even build across the road. Um, actually. No, we wouldn't have enough room because you'd have to expand. That's not big enough for an office. Uh, right. Anyways, okay, so that's going to be our entrance. Let's see. Where's the center of this sort of inner section? Uh, I guess we'll count it from that wall there. So that is 116. Uh, so we want uh, 50. What is that? Oh, God. Maths. Um, I, I, I'm really tired, so I'm playing a mess. Uh, well, it's 58, isn't it? Half of that, I believe. Yeah, 58, that's right. Sorry, sorry that took me so long. Uh, maths, you know, it, it messes with my mind when I'm creating videos. Okay, so we're going to do a large four-wide corridor from there as well. Uh, so this is going to be sort of our main passageway for prisoners to walk through. High-capacity corridor that they can all manage to get through. Uh, and then we'll obviously bring it down this way as well. And then we'll sort of design the rest of the prison around that and figure out where all the actual cells are going to be. Um, <clears throat> and we'll probably do doors, if we do it like this. Like this, this, this. Oh, not there. Yes, because it looks a little nicer pushing the doors back a little for one. We'll do doors there, there, and there. Because what's going to happen, like I said, we're going to split the prison up top and bottom. Um, so... The prisoners on this side of the prison will probably use this corridor, but I don't want them using this. I, I don't really want anyone using this central corridor except for staff. Um, the only time prisoners will come through here is when they're being released or coming into the prison. So that's kind of where I'm coming at uh, from in terms of this design. Um, so this sort of central corridor will provide access for like deliveries uh, and staff members to sort of bring it into the prison, hopefully without too much issues. So if we do like our... Our kitchens and that uh, near the, the corridor. So if we build them like right next to the corridor, say we do a kitchen. Why do I keep using objects? Kitchen like here or something. That means our staff will be able to sort of walk straight through this corridor back out. And it should be relatively quick. Um, but we will, we will see. We will see. Okay. So that's our main corridor. Uh, I guess we might as well extend this right to the end. And have a door going into the, uh, the sort of perimeter wall there. I guess we'll do the same over here. Like that and that. I actually want to change these up a little bit from what I've done. I want to do the same that I did in the center because it looks a little nice. Like, it gives it a little bit more detail. Uh, and I will do doors there and there as well. And I'll change this one up. Make it look a little prettier. Uh, like that. So this is, after all, the pretty prison. Uh, <laughs> code name pretty prison. Um, imagine if... <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know if a prison was actually called that. Like, you've been sentenced to 20 years in pretty prison. It's ironically the uh, the, hardest, the harshest prison in the state. Uh, anyways, okay, so then we got those sort of... Okay, so that's kind of good, I think. So we've kind of sectored the prison up. So uh, now that we've kind of divided it like this, I guess we should... So top and bottom are two different... Well, essentially, air quote, two different prisons. Um, but we do probably want to have a central accessible area. I I don't really want the prisoners to interact, but with the way it's kind of buggy if you fully separate the prison. So I probably do want some interaction in terms of, I think I want to have the laundry shareable by both prisons because last time we had a laundry uh, that was separate, it didn't really work. Um, kitchens are fine. So we don't need to, uh, that should be fine. And holding cell as well. That was kind of glitchy if we separate it. So I will probably have a central holding cell um, that'll be accessible by both prisons. In which case, we probably need to demolish a bit of this, this corridor and have it sort of join both prisons here. Um, so let's... Uh, if we're going to do... Okay, if we do it at the back here, that means we sort of decided that we're going to put cell cell blocks at the back of the prison. Then we'll have sort of kitchens, canteens, um, workshops, yards, and all, everything on this side of the prison. So that's kind of how we're going about it. Um, now let's build... Uh, let's let's do a cell block. So let's go sort of keeping it a nice distance from the wall there. Um, let's say that's a cell block. I, I don't actually know the size. We've got to figure that out now. Um, so if we have a cell there, um, actually, I how do I want to do this? Do I? I we want to make it look nice. We don't necessarily need to cramp everything in. Is these is what I'm trying to plan out here. Um, I want to make it look good, don't we? All right, so let's go like that. So let's say we have cells all along there. Then I actually want a quite a wide corridor. Let's go four wide. Let's make it luxurious. Make it four wide. So that'll be cells there. Um, let's get rid of that wall there because we don't need that. So we'll have all cells along there as well. Uh, this will be a corridor going down the cell block, uh, and then I guess that can just join straight onto this. We don't really need a wall there, do we? I mean, in fact, we could just join it all up like that, just have the building straight on there. We can walk in, uh, have cells all along here, like that. I guess this is a good way to do it, because that means, say, say, like everyone from this cell block will go straight out there. So if we have them sort of all filtering into this corridor, that could work pretty well. Um, I, I kind of want to do showers. Uh, how do I want to do this? I don't know if I want to do showers in the actual cell blocks, so Because that's what I normally do, but I don't know if I want to do that. Um, I kind of want to do showers separate, so they sort of all come out of the cell blocks from there. And then have showers like opposite or something. But then I don't know how I would sort of lay everything else out as a problem. I think it's easier just to do it in the cell block. Alright, let's see how many cells we can fit in here. I'm going to stop sort of <laughs> babbling on and we'll figure this out. Um, alrighty, put it there, and there, and get us all along there. Yeah, this is going to be a long planning process. Let's leave that sort of space there at the back, and let's figure out how many cells we have. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, so we have 30 cells in this cell block, so we need, hopefully, well, not hopefully, we need 30 showers, more or less. Um, actually, I'm going to change it like that, just because that means we can have double drains there. Uh, so let's see, we can have 12 showers there, uh, 4 there, and 4 there. That is nowhere near 30, unfortunately. Uh, so we ideally want at least enough showers for everyone. If not, if we can help it, we can have more. That'd be good. I guess we can just join this to that wall there. Or I guess I'll leave it one back. All right, so let's move it there. Ah, that's a wall again. Sorry. Put that there. And then we can have a wall there. Maybe we'll lodge it up there and have showers along that section. Wait, right, so how many have we got now? So we've got eight there. And then we've got 12 there. So we have 20. 24, 28. We need, like, a few more. I guess we can do some down the side. It's a little cramped, but that should be alright. So that's enough showers. More than enough, actually, for everyone in this cell block. 
Uh, and then if we do the same sort of thing here, so how tall is that? Uh, it is, I can't see, 14 tall. So if we do another one here. Uh, yeah, that's right. How many can we fit in? The 30 prisoners each, and we've run out of room at that point. So we have 90 prisoners there, and then I guess another 90 on this half if we do the same thing. I guess that's quite a lot of prisoners. Uh, 180. Should be alright, all right, let's go with that. Let's go with that for now. Um, we can always change it up later if we really need to. So I shall build the other side as well. Um, like that. Actually, I should have just done it like this. I'll do all of them at the same time for efficiency. Right, so then we can just go walls down like that. And like that. It's incredibly, incredibly messy at the moment, but that's all right. All right, bring all of these down. This is going to be one hell of a prison. Um, definitely the biggest prison I've built from scratch. Like, I mean, I've certainly expanded prisons kind of up to this size, but I've never sort of built one from the start that's going to be this big. So this is kind of interesting, something new for me. And we'll see how we go. And I am by no means an expert at this game, so it should be interesting. All right, so that's going to go there, and then we have the wall. Uh, like that. Don't mean. And I'm not going to bother planning in the showers because we know that they're going to go there. So, okay, we have three cell blocks. Um, so we'll come out like that. So they all filter into this sort of main corridor here. Which is good, which is what we want. And that is not a problem. Then on this side is where everything else will be. So we want to do... We've also got to make sure we leave room for offices and everything before, like, before we plan too much. But, uh, and also storage and everything like that, which I'm not sure what we'll do really. Um... I guess we'll kind of figure that out as we come to it. We, we want to do a yard, though, I think. I think if we do a yard right opposite these sort of uh, cells here, could be a, a nice way to do it. Um, so if we go... Uh, most of these, these sort of jail doors here will probably be locked open, just because they don't need to be um, closed. Anyway, so let's say they come in here. And there's a nice, large yard area. It's all going to be grass. I'm going to make it all fancy with pathways everywhere, I think. Um, I'm going to go like that. Pathway going down there. It's going to be really fancy. I mean, it doesn't need to be, but I, I want to make a nice looking prison. Again, this is pretty prison. So, like I said, um, yeah, it's pretty prison. <laughs> That's what we're doing here. Uh, not going for a harsh uh, prison. We're going to have straight walking across there as well then we'll have all grass in there and i don't know if i like doing that one there so i might just do that just because it kind of made it slightly uneven but i guess it's unfortunately going to be uneven anyways uh actually uh, i want to put that back now because damn it hang on let's get rid of those pathways but i don't want them to have to walk all the way around because i will prefer to use pathways if you put them in as a thing um so I don't know how I'm going to do this. Where's the center of this? <laughs> Find the center! That's the answer! 45! Oh, that's not going to be a very good center then. Uh, what, 23-ish? So, around there. Kind of like that. Is that, is that right? 23... ...and 25. I've done that completely wrong. Um... I think it's supposed to be like that, actually. 22, and... 26. Okay, I've made it worse. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops, that was my bad. That was that was my bad. Jesus, 24 and 24. There we go. All right, we got there in the end. Um, all right, so if we do that, I just don't like how it doesn't line up with the doors, but I don't think I'm going to win on that front, so I might make that a little bit wider because I, I suspect a lot of prisoners will sort of walk around this way. And then that will be grass, grass, and it'll be yard area. So I guess if we have this giant pathway coming here, this ideally should be where we put the canteen. Um, because that's, I guess, we're going to have a lot of high traffic. So we're going to have 90 prisoners. Uh, how many tables are we going to need for that? So that each table holds eight. Um, I mean, you know what, I'm just going to whip out a calculator. I, re I really should start these things with a calculator because it just makes it quicker and makes me seem less stupid. Um, I'm not stupid, it's just kind of hard to do maths while commentating a video. Uh, so anyways, 90, what about eight? 11.25 tables we're going to need, so 12, uh, which is actually a pretty decent number of tables. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with our canteen, which goes six from that side. Let's 
go like that, and... No, 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 let's not do the walls first. Let's do the tables first, because it'll make it easier to sort of work it out. So we want plenty of room for them to walk in. And then I think we'll do a table there. So one... We'll leave more space in there, actually. Two... Oh, three... Four... Um, so we need 12 tables, don't we? So if we do it there as well... Actually, we should do this in threes, because it'll make it, make it more even. So if we do it like this... And that is enough tables for everyone that we will have in this prison. Um, it should be good. So that will be our canteen there. Let's just build our walls around it. Like so. Um, I might do the kitchen just down here because it makes more sense. So if I leave that as the sort of back of the canteen, then this is going to be the bottom. This is going to be where the serving tables are. Then we can sort of have this as our kitchen area there, which I think works quite nicely. Uh, that means we don't really need that pathway there. But I guess we can just do staff doors there or something. Um, right, how big is this kitchen? Is it e oh, it's not an even number, that's annoying. Um, might bring that back. Just one. Just one, just so it's an even number because it makes everything easier. Right, so as for serving tables, we can go five. Five, and can we fit one in the middle? Oh, four. Uh, I don't really, I don't, I don't know the ratio of how many serving tables you really need. Like, is two enough to serve everyone? I feel like it's not. I feel like we should have at least have three or four. Um, maybe we'll do the serving tables upside, on, on this wall here, actually. And I'll do door there, door there. Uh, and I will put metal detectors in. Haven't, obviously, planned them out yet, so we'll get around to that eventually. Uh, also, I'm not going to bother planning off the second prison in this video because, like I said, they're pretty much going to be mirror images. Uh, more or less, unless you have a better idea, but that's pretty much what I'm going to do. So we're going to, we're going to work on this top prison, and then I'll probably do that, um, between episodes, because otherwise it'd just be me doing the same thing twice. Uh, right, so, let's go ahead and go, if we did a serving table there, can't put one there, so if we chuck it in the center, so we have one there, and we have a serving table there, and there, so we can fit two on there, then we can have a door from the kitchen, um, they have a couple doors, I think, so there's more traffic flow, maybe on this side as well. Um, actually, I'll move them along. Hang on, fix up that wall. Go double doors there. No, I think we'll do double staff doors, because again, you can you can rotate them in a way that they open to the left and the right, so it's kind of like a you nice know, wide double door in a way, but still, uh, in theory, secure. So anyways, that's going to be our canteen, uh, which I think is pretty good, because that means all the prisoners... I think that's pretty... Decent design, because that means all our prisons are going to sort of flow down the center. I mean, I don't like how <laughs> these, this... I wish this sort of middle cell was lined up with that pathway there, but the way that this prison is sort of all put together is not really going to work. Also, in this sort of space we have down here, this is, I think, where we'll put all the shared stuff uh, between the prisons. So we'll have, like, laundries and everything here. Um, <clears throat> actually, we'll probably do, the, like, the laundry in this kind of section here, because that means we could sort of join it to both corridors. Might work. But anyways, we'll come to that later. Uh, kitchen. Let's see, let's see. So, we obviously want entrances to the kitchen from this, from this corridor. Uh, staff door. They're probably all gonna take the first staff door that's closest, so I don't feel like there's any point putting doors at this end. So, as long as we have enough space for them to sort of walk through, because I'm not, I'm not sure how, how much traffic we're gonna get in terms of staff, but, um, as long as we make sure we have enough, it should be alright. So they'll come straight in there and go into that door. Right, now objects, let's see, so, how, what's our height there? So we got nine there, so we can go sink, sink, and unfortunately can't fit a nice sink in there. I guess that's alright, if we do sink and double sink, and then, I don't know, we can put like a bin in there or something. So there are three sinks, that's probably more than enough to clean everything up, I think. Um, and then we go down this way, have, uh... Let's do it like this. Go four there, four there. Those doors are actually really annoying because I've kind of designed it in a way it should be placed this way around. Right, so if we have ten there, so we have like cookers, well that's actually five. Uh, cookers, and then... Because um, I, I think it's one fridge per two cookers, so I'm trying to think of a good way to do this. If I do it like... Um, like a bank... Of them, like, does this does this fit in? No, it doesn't fit in. Um, that's not gonna work. Uh, 
What if I do it like down here? Does this fit in oh nicely? More or less, there's a bit of spare space, but I guess we can also put a couple more down there. Maybe even another set there. Uh, and then what I'd do is you'd have this whole section as cookers. And then then you'd need half, half of one of these as fridges. And then you'd also have that side as fridges. And you have cookers there. Hmm. It doesn't really need, ideally need another row to make this one. Ah. Um, <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain what I'm, I'm thinking in my head. Because uh, I've only got little squares to show you with it. Right, let's just do the bog standard then, I think. Uh, we'll go... Um, so we sort of orientated it that way. But it doesn't really work that way. I need to do it this way. Ten there. I'll go there. And then... That. That. All along there. Um, yeah. Like that. And then we can obviously fit a bunch down the bottom. And then we'll figure out exactly what will actually make the items later. I've left an extra space there because that's kind of like a main sort of walkway. Uh, like you can see it's kind of like that's the sort of walking direction. Uh, anyway, so that'll be our kitchen. It should be fine. We do have a pathway there that doesn't actually go anywhere, but uh, I guess we could do a staff door there. Um, not really any point. I don't know if they'll use it. Oh, oh, actually, no, 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 no. I don't want to do a door there. Oh, actually, I've, I've, I've realized an upsetting problem. Because of the way the game works, when new prisoners come in, the guards are going to take them through the kitchen and the canteen to the cells rather than using the corridor, which kind of sucks. Um, but there's not really any way to avoid that. Unless we had the, the, the cells before... Oh, that sucks. That's... Oh, well. Oh, well, that's something we can't avoid. Right. Um, <clears throat> we need storage, uh, utilities, uh, that kind of stuff. And we also want... We definitely want workshops. Um, we need a common room. What I might do is I might just make this whole section here as a common room. Um, but then this sort of top half here will be like a in indoor hallway. So that will be a hallway. Um... But I'll probably, I, I don't think I'll have doors there. I think it'll just be like a sort of sort of partition wall kind of thing. And then that will be common room area. And this will be a walkway through to the rest of the other stuff back here. Um, so we have it like that. And then I guess if we had another, got a hallway here somewhere. Like that. Then we can have sort of workshops back here somewhere. Uh, 22 by 14 is the size of a workshop at maximum capacity. 22 by 14. Uh, which is there. And we have, unfortunately, a little bit of space left over. Um, that space there is nice. Nice little gap there, but... I guess that's not too bad, actually. I guess we can just do grass around that or something to make it look good. So we have a couple of workshops there, which actually works pretty well. Um, and then I, I do want delivery of materials to come through this wall here. So if we do sort of entrances at the back here... So if we do that... And sort of just open that up. Have jail doors there. Um, actually, we don't really need... I, I don't think we need jail doors there. I'm not going to bother with it because... Um, first of all, it will take much longer because then you'd have to have a guard there as well to open the doors. But I think at that point, we have double... Um, we basically have, oh well, I guess we have, if the shortest route out from there, if they were to escape, is uh, they have to go through staff door, jail door, jail door, jail door, and then a road gate. Um, I think that's pretty secure. So I don't think there's really need to be jail doors. But I guess uh, we, we could do it if we wanted, but for now I'll just leave it like that. Um, so, yeah, so that'll be alright. So then they can deliver the, because uh, what's going to happen, oh actually... Hang on, how's that going to work? Oh, no, 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 that should be fine. Um, I was just thinking because the delivery is actually going to be technically inside of the prison, and when it's inside, prisoners are supposed to get it, but if we said it's a staff only, I think, then the workmen should deliver it. I don't know. I've only just thought about that. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. I mean, to be honest, we have a lot of money, and if we do run out of money, I'm probably, like, if, if we run out of money making a mistake, if we make a mistake, I think I'll put the money back in because I, I don't really want to sort of mess around and blow things up. But I'm not going to put in money if everything goes okay, uh, if that makes sense to you. Because, yeah. Anyways, uh, so that will be our, those, we'll have two workshops because that means 40 of the 90 prisoners there will be working. 
And then we'll also have cleaning cupboards on this side of the, the prison uh, as well, which we'll probably put down here somewhere. Uh, oh, actually, we don't really need to. We'll put them over here, I think. Um, so... Got, this gap here is kind of weird. I want to use it for something, but I don't really... It's not, I guess we could just expand the workshops into it. It's not really... It's not really anything. It's a thing. Um, it just, it, the only reason I don't, didn't want to do that is because it makes it workshops kind of look a bit weird. I guess that means we could also push the doors back if we wanted. If we go there... Um, I do want them coming in a little bit. So if we just did that... I do want double doors, though, because double doors are nice. I'll probably be double staff doors, though, like I said before. Um, and then we do have that sort of weird space there is the only problem. I don't know. Uh, I also want to put doors between our workshops, because that helps the prisoners get between them re relatively quickly. So 11 is our center, so that will be our center there. And we'll do four doors in the center, um, so I can walk between the workshops quite easily without a problem. Uh, and then, of course, we will have doors um, on the front of them. Put one right here so they can sort of just walk right on through uh, without a problem. I'm going to do one there for sake of symmetry, and then we'll do there and there. Uh, do I want to do a door from the canteen that goes through to the workshops? I don't think so, because... Uh, I'm just thinking about it. Uh, maybe I will. I want to do, I want to have toilets um, somewhere other than their cells as well. Probably off the canteen because usually after they eat they need to go to the toilet as well. So I think if we cut off the hallway, oh my god, cut off the hallway here rather. I was going to do it up there but I've moved it. So that will be coming down to there. Um, then this area here will be like storage and um, if, and then I guess on this sort of side here will be like offices and all that kind of stuff but we'll figure that out. Uh, so then... We'll do, yeah, so that will come through here. So we'll have a door there somewhere. Um, and then we do need solitary as well somewhere, which is the other thing that I haven't really put into this design. Oh, I, we do have a lot of space here, actually. So I think that can be one of the things we do over there. And of course, we need to put utility somewhere, which we will figure out late, uh, later. Uh, they, oh, they can't fit in those. I was thinking we could put utilities in these little guard tower things, but they wouldn't fit in there anyways. Um, anyways, so they're going to come through here. Uh, if we do little toilet cubicles, probably don't need that many, because um, I don't think that many people will use them. Something like that. Uh, what could we use that space for? I guess this could be utilities actually somewhere along here. Uh, let's have a look. We're gonna, we're definitely gonna need more than one um, thing to power. Up. Oh, that fits in beautifully. Uh, and I guess we'll do another one over there. So we'll have one. Ah, oh, but we. I think we might need two power stations per prison because we have workshops and they're going to take up a lot of power, but I'm not sure. Uh, we will, I guess, budget for two uh, power stations is the word I was searching for. Like that. Um, I also need water somewhere. We only, we only need one water pump because that's magical and can do everything. So we'll put that somewhere else. Uh, and then this, I guess, will be a cleaning cupboard. I'm not sure what the maximum number that can be assigned to a cleaning cupboard. I think, well, for now, we'll leave it as one large room. Um, just because I don't know if we really need to make it into two smaller rooms. So that will be a cleaning cupboard. Uh, then those are bathrooms. Which suspiciously looks like solitary, but it's not. Uh, and then that's our common room. I'll put a door there. Don't really need to, but we will. So two workshops, common room... Uh, canteen kitchen. Let's have a look at our rooms, actually. Uh, so we do have to do a holding cell, which will go over here somewhere. We'll do that in a second. Uh, let's just see what we've got so far. Canteen, kitchen, showers, yards. Actually, we can put in yards now, just so we're absolutely sure where they go. There and there. Uh, we will also just get rid of those deliveries and stuff, because we'll replace them in a second. Uh, storage will be in that room somewhere. We'll sort that out in a second with design. Uh, deliveries will go out the front. Garbage, yeah. Uh, workshops, we're done. Security, we'll probably make some of these little buildings here security offices. They don't really need to be. They don't really do anything. Uh, and then offices, we do also have to plan in somewhere. We also need an infirmary, which will probably be, again, one of those shared elements between the two prisons. This whole section here will be our shared area. Um, 
while I don't really want the prisons to mix, I think they kind of still have to at this point in the game because it is still quite buggy uh, when you separate certain things. Um, and I just I think it's just going to be easier that way. Common room, we have a nice large one up there. Laundry, we will be doing a shared laundry soon. Visitation, ooh, that's what we should do. Um, I guess that can be... It really should be a shared sort of visitation. Maybe if we do it right here, so it'll be like right... So the visitors will have to come straight through the prison and it'll be here because I don't want to put it at the front because that means my staff only corridor is completely useless because it won't be staff only then. Um, so yeah, anyways, we'll put it back there. Visitation will be fine. Cleaning cupboard, yeah, we're done. Kennel we don't have, but we could really put anywhere probably. Uh, we'll sort that out a bit later. Staff room, we've got to do um, probably off the staff corridor here somewhere. We should we should have a little bit of space to sort of get things in. Forestry, not a priority, but we might do one later on. I'm not going to plan one in though because we don't really need it. So let's go back and uh, let's oh, not into that. Start planning our other elements into the prison. So we need officers. I mean. We could even use, like, <laughs> we could technically use these, little, I guess, air quotes, security officers as officers if we really wanted to. <laughs> we could use that as an office as well. I don't know. I don't know if I'm keen on that idea, though. Um, I could do that. I could do that and just be cheeky because we've already got these rooms around the place and they can technically be used as officers. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know because we could put, like, the warden there. I Actually, that's what we'll do. We'll do, like, the warden and the... Um, Security, the chief of security dude, which, what is his name? Uh, yeah, this, we can do the warden and the chief here because those are like, I guess the two, I guess, primary security officers. So I guess if we do that, that gets rid of two officers and then we need to place three officers somewhere else, uh, which I guess we'll probably just do here. Um, if we can, that's a little too big there. We need three officers, so if we do that... But then we can oh, see. Then we get we get a nice number of officers in there, which is that's actually all the officers we need <laughs> along there, um, which I didn't really want to do. I, I, maybe I won't do officers there. Maybe I'll do them somewhere else. Maybe back here somewhere. They can be shoved at the back. Doesn't matter. Uh, right. So um, let's have a look. So we need what do I want to put up front. Probably actually. Let's just chuck in deliveries and garbage uh, while we remember. Um, so we'll go here, some of deliveries. Plenty of space. Probably won't, we probably won't need to be that big. The only reason we had to have such a big one last, um, prison was because of the bloody forestry. Took up so much space, but we'll put those two things there, that'll be fine. Uh, workshop, security, office, infirmary. No, infirmary go up the back. What do we need up the front? Visitation. Really only the staff room we need up the front. Um, because we could just do it here somewhere. We just do a staff room there, say, and then maybe if we do office, hang on, make that the right size. Office, office. So that'd be there. Oh my god, what is going on with my clicking? Um, do it like that. And then this room. Oh, actually, if I make. No, I want that to be the staff room. I guess that could be storage. It's not that big, but it doesn't, it doesn't really need to be big, does it? I don't think so. Um, so we can have a. Star I don't want to have staffed all there though because otherwise guards will then take them through the staff room. Although I guess that's better than taking them through the kitchen. Oh, I don't know. Lots of lots of weird little things. Um, this guy can go straight into the. Uh, might put that that guy's door there. A little corridor there, I think. And that room's even more. No, let's not do that. That room's even more useless then. Um, have both their doors there just for the sake of being the same. Uh, all right, so then this will be our uh, storage, I guess. That'll be a little staffed all there. Let's also just mark out the ones we can so we don't forget, because I have forgotten before. Uh, can we do a staff room? Where is it? Yeah, down there. Let's just mark out the staff room. Oh, we can't, because it has to be inside, so it won't let us do it. Um, all right, so. We've got storage. We've got all the offices we need, in theory. We, we technically need one more office, but we can probably put it over this side somewhere. Uh, so that'll be staff room. So that means that means all our uh, kitchen staff are really close to the staff room because we'll have another kitchen there and then they can all just sort of jump into the staff room. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, which should be pretty good. Uh, we need solitary. So we should go ahead and design this sort of 
shared section. But first, I think we need to put in these um, cell blocks, or at least the outline of them. How big is that? 40 by 55. And it starts, hang on, where does it start? It starts two down from the back and one from the side. So two down from the back and one from the side. And it was 40 by 55. That's it there. So that's going to be where our cell blocks go. I'm not going to draw them in now because we don't really need to. Uh, and then this is going to be our shared area. Uh, we'll get a corridor built there, I think. Doesn't need to go all the way to the back. Probably to there. We'll build it. Um, so to there. Right, now the first thing we want to do is visitation. That needs to go right here, right in the center. Uh, is that big enough? Let's see. We have visitor's table and visitor table. This will probably... Oh, we're going to have 180 prisoners though, mind you. So we might need a bigger visitation, actually. Yeah, I might make this slightly bigger. Um, let's see. Let's go like that. That will probably be enough, I think. Should be all right. Do that. Okay, so that's going to be our visitation. So we'll have... Uh, probably double jail doors there or something. Oh, not double. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, large jail doors, rather. Uh, so that will be fine. That means our visitors can come straight through there and our, our prisoners can come in that way. Uh, that's good. Right, the next thing we need is we need... Uh, I might chuck solitary up the back here, actually. That's a nice little spot to put it. Uh, I'll just join it to the wall there. Um, I don't... Uh, I don't need separate solitary. That's pretty big solitary though, actually. I might shrink that down a bit. Let's hang on. Let's see what we can fit in here. So if we do this, that fits in very nicely, actually. Surprisingly well. Like that. Oops. And then we'll do a little bit of gap in the center, and that will be our solitary there, because I think that will be enough. We do have 180 prisoners, but that should go all right, I think. Oh, we're going to have to leave a bit of a gap in the center, actually. Um... Although I haven't actually left entrances to it, which is a little bit of an issue. Because the entrances should be here. Maybe we do need more solitary. Uh, I don't know, because that's kind of small. Uh, we'll be alright, we'll be alright. Um, of course, if you have a better suggestion, comments are always there for you. Free to use. Okay, so those will be our entrances to the solitary from either prison. Right, that's that bit done. So we, we do have solitary, albeit not that much, but it should be alright. Uh, holding cell, actually, we do need as well. Uh, that can just be chucked down the back here, I think. Like that, because we also need to fit in laundry somewhere, probably just about there. And we need an infirmary. Hang on, let's just double check what we need. So we need a holding cell. Uh, we need to put that in. We need, uh, what else do we need? Shared. Uh, da -da -da -da. Infirmary we need to do. Laundry. Visitation we did. Uh, well, armory and kennel, actually, we need. Um, which I don't want to put there because I, I don't want any access to the armory for the prisoners. Probably put the armory up here because we're going to have that sort of spare space that we did on that side. So we'll have a bit of spare space there, so we'll probably do armory there and probably kennel, actually. We'll plan that bit out together in a minute. So really, only, the only bits we need here are holding cell, uh, what's the other bit? Um, blanking, laundry and the infirmary. Now, uh, how do we want to do these? Because we do have, we actually have quite a bit more space than I thought we'd have to do all this. Um, so, let's have a look. Uh, how big is this area? 33. Not an ideal number, really. Uh, let's see. So, holding cell. We want to do, in the holding cell, we want them to have their own showers, toilets, and beds. And benches, because they also need that. We want it to be a fully functioning sort of cell block in itself, because we don't want them to get upset. Uh, so, and the way we're going to do that is by some magic. What we could do, actually, um, if we do that, is that nice enough room? We need to do that. No, that's going to take up too much space. I was going to... Uh, Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Because we're going to have entrances, <laughs> have entrances from either side. So let's say those are our entrances to our holding cell. Um, so let's just make, let's give ourselves a bit of space here. And we're going to put, <clears throat> excuse me, some benches along here so they can sit down and relax. Um, not really any room in there. I guess we could do something else in there. But anyway, we'll do a couple benches. And then we want to do plenty of beds in here. But I don't want to cram them in. So let's, if we leave spaces like this... Like that. So we have a bunch of beds. 
And then if we had another bunch of beds there. Oh, the problem is it doesn't hold many prisoners, I guess. Um, it only holds 12. So it's going to do a wall like that. So you'd have like prisoners outside, prisoners this side. I guess we can make it bigger. Yeah, go, go for luxurious. That in. Okay, like that. That means we'll have 18 spare spaces. Um, there's a lot of wasted space in the middle, though, is the only thing. We, can fit, uh, we can't really fit anything in there, though, because it's... I mean, um... Hmm. It's, really, it's really luxurious. It really shouldn't be that luxurious now that I think about it. Alright, screw it. Let's, let's cram him in. I'm not going to put him there, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move that wall back, and it's going to have a wall... Um, where the beds are, so we can put another bench there or something. So that's kind of, uh, I don't know. Uh, well, it shouldn't, even even having a wall there is quite luxurious, to be honest. But uh, I feel like that. So we're going to have twenty beds in there then, by the looks of it. Uh, so let's do a wall there and wall there. I'm going to have a. Well, it's not going to be a door actually because we need the toilets in the same room, so it won't be a door there. But we'll do toilets um, there. Uh, yeah, we need, we, need, we, need to, we need to make sure we have enough room for showers. If we, we can, I guess we can give them private, <laughs> private toilet stalls. They can be, be spoiled. Let's, okay, this whole cell is getting bigger, which is good because we need to waste a bit of space. Um, <clears throat> so, if, say those are toilets, right? So we'll put doors there. No, 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 no doors because we can't have doors. Um, so if we did those there as well as toilets. Like that, and then we have showers, which will have a door there, and that. So we need 20 showers, don't we? We have five there, seven there. Uh, what is that? That is 13 showers. Not exactly enough. Although, actually, no, no, no. We could use all that space, couldn't we? What am I? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Uh, yeah, we could use all that space. So if we do the doors there instead... Um, oh, not a wall. Oh, I guess we could leave the door there so it's kind of matching like that. Um, alright, so we got... How many do we have there? Seven. And then we have... Five there. And if we do four there... Damn, these numbers are bad. Uh, eleven plus five... Uh, so we have, what, sixteen now. Hmm. Still not ideal. That is 16, right? I've got just badly added it. 7, 4, 11, and then 16. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't know. I need more space. I guess we could... I don't, I don't want to cram it in, but I kind of have to. Not an ideal shower solution. Uh, that's kind of that's what we're going to roll with for now. Uh, if we come up with a better idea, we, we can change it. Alright, so that's our holding cell. And a shared holding cell, so it won't glitch out, or at least that's the plan. Okay, so then this area here is going to be our laundry and our infirmary. So our laundry, I want it to be quite large. This is going to be our laundry because it's going to service both prisons. Um, so all 180 prisoners plus the 20. So we're actually going to have a capacity of 200 uh, in this prison, which is pretty good actually, I think. Um, so this will be our infirmary. We'll have a door on either side. Um, like that. We don't have a morgue though. I guess we can do the morgue down here again in that spare space. Uh, and that, that will be a laundry there. So we're going to have um, double jail doors there and there. And then whatever fits in there is how it will go. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty good. Uh, right. Let's plan out this sort of because I, I kept saying I'm going to shove a lot of stuff in this spare space here but I don't actually know how much spare space we're going to have. Um, so we've got to figure that out. Uh, so we just kind of need to build this sort of section here that we have. So we have a two gap there. And then uh, and then I'll plan in everything else uh, after this episode so we don't miss anything. Uh, how tall is that wall? 12. Hang on, let me just come in closer so I can confirm. That is 12. Yep, that is 12. So that will be 12. Oh, no save! There it is. 12. And then we have a wall that goes straight across. And this wall comes... We have a four, oh, four wide corridor there. Not like that. That will join up there. And then we had our little toilet block, didn't we? Which is seven by nine. Uh, like that. And then we had our power. And that was a cleaning cupboard there. 
which we had a double door on in the center. And we'll just plan out all this stuff while we're here, might as well. Just like this. So there's our little toilets for the uh, canteen next door. Shit, they don't need doors on it. I'm not going to put doors on it. They don't need privacy. Ah, but I've put doors on those ones. Alright, we'll put doors on it. Fine, they can have a little bit of privacy. Although this prison is pretty good, if I do say so. Uh, right, so... This is going to be our power. We do also need water, which I, again is one of those things I said we're going to chuck in that room. Or in this space here. Because... Technically, all this space here is spare, because we don't need to do that kind of stuff over here. Although, we do need one more office, so... We'll just chuck it there. Doesn't really need to go at the front of the prison, though. It's kind of unnecessary, but we'll put it there. Uh, in that case, actually, we can use this little space here for the water pump, I think. Oh, three by three for a water pump. Perfect. You beauty. Although, we do need to do doors for these sort of utility rooms, so we'll put one just there. And one there, and one there. Right, okay, so that's cool. So we now have a water pump in, and no worries. What was the other stuff we had to do? We had to do kennel and an armory. I think were the other two things I kept saying we're going to chuck down the front. Let's just double check what we've got. So we've got cells, holding cells, yeah, solitary, yes. Canteen, yep, kitchen, yep. Shower, yards, storage, deliveries, garbage. Execution, no, but again, that still doesn't actually do anything in the game, so there's absolutely no point putting it in. It doesn't do anything. Workshops, yes. Security, yeah, again, you don't need them, they don't do anything. Offices, yes, we now have all five. Infirmary, yep, oh, morgue is a thing we had to chuck in. Uh, common room, yep, laundry, yes, visitation, yes, cleaning cupboard, yes. Kennel, no, armory, so we need kennel, armory, and our morgue. Um, it's going to be a bit tight here, but if we do that as armory, and then we do... The morgue doesn't need to be too big, really, because I, I don't anticipate having lots of deaths. So ideally, it shouldn't be too big. Um, that's I the ideal scenario. Uh, right, we're also going to put a door there so we know. Um, hopefully I remember that's going to be armory. Um, right, and then this needs to be split up into armory and morgue. But again, like I said, morgue doesn't need to be big. I mean, even that could just be a morgue there and that can be a kennel. Bit of a funny shape, but I think it works fine. Um, so that'd be our morgue. Now we'll put the door there. Because then we can have morgue slabs there. And then we'll also plan in the kennel sort of dog crates. Uh, there and there. And we can do them there. Um, and that'll be fine. Um, yeah. So that our armory needs... What kind of objects does it need again? It needs one uh, guard locker. For every guard you have, you need a guard locker. So... Basically, as many as we can fit in is how many armed guards we can have. So I guess we could do that whole wall there. So we could have 10 armed guards in that sort of armory. Again, we could probably fit one in somewhere else if we really, really needed to. But I think that will be fine. Um, and let me just build that up because that's going to be a hallway. So, I think we have everything now. Let's just triple check that we have everything. Cells, yes. Holding cells, yes. Solitary, yes. Just over there. Canteen, yep. Uh, kitchen, yep. Showers, yes. Yard, yes. Storage, yep. Storage is a little small, but it should be right. Deliveries, deliveries yes. And garbage, yep. Uh, execution, no, but we don't need it. Workshops, yes. Security, yep, but don't actually need it. Office, yeah. Infirmary, yep. Morgue, yep. Common room, yes. Laundry, yes. Visitation, yes. Cleaning covers, yes. Kennel, yes. Armory, yes. Staff room, yes. And forestry, no, but we're not really focusing on it. But of course, we could actually just put uh, forestry out here. However... I think we have fully planned our prison. Of course, like I said, I haven't drawn in this side, but it's going to be more or less a carbon uh, copy of it uh, on the other side. So imagine the same thing there, down the bottom. Um, now what I need from you is feedback on this design. Any changes you think we should make or any mistakes I've made, anything I've missed, let me know. Um, because, of course, I might have missed lots of things or I might have made some mistakes here and there. But let me know if I've made uh, some glaring issues or if you think something would be a better idea than what I've done. Uh, let me know. Uh, so chuck that in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and have a great day.